I'm just gonna be positive and say that I could cosplay as Hag right now. Harry, your wizard. <laughs> Hi, today is an end of an era. We're gonna be saying goodbye to. We're gonna be saying goodbye to this lovely wig. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Julie and I am an avid Asian synthetic wig wearer. I've been wearing them for two years now, which is pretty crazy. And I always get comments asking why I never wear my real hair. Around two summers ago, I went ahead and bleached my whole entire head seven times within a two to three month span. Basically, I burned off my hair. I still have a lot of fried hair under here. It literally feels like hay. I might have like great makeup that day, a great outfit, but my hair, my hair really like takes weight, all that. This one I've been wearing since I moved into this house around seven months ago. And it's been through a lot. It's been through a long cut, a medium cut. And I think this is like around the fourth cut that I did. And I really liked it. It reminds me of the early 20s. She's starting to feel really stiff. And, and also she's starting to smell low-key not lying like I wash it but it's starting to smell so I don't really have knowledge about wigs but I've been getting my wigs on YesStyle it's really affordable and it's like it carries a lot of styles that I would like to wear I'm going to Korea soon so I want to make sure I had options I really wanted to try like a couple a few wigs to make sure I have a really good one for me to wear while I'm in Korea it was really expensive once I looked at my cart I thought maybe YesStyle might want to help me out and I can't contacted them guys and they, and they sponsored today's, today's wigs, wigs. And they didn't sponsor this whole entire video but they sponsored the wigs by the way make sure you guys use my yes style rewards code julie julie you get up to 10 percent off and you could combine it with the actual coupon you could save even more money so yeah it's julie julie i went ahead and went on amazon and i picked up so many wig wig heads <laughs> I'll link these down below where I got them. I got them on Amazon, super cheap. They're like two bucks each. Do you guys remember this wig? This was my first wig ever. Honestly, she's still my favorite wig. I feel like it really suited my face back then and it just looks really natural for being in synthetic wig. She started it all. I'll link her down below. This was my second long-term wig. I think I wore this one longer than I did that one. Every wig I wear, it's gonna remind me of a time in my life. I really hope my next wig takes me to an even better place in my life or like an even more authentic part of my life. Um, this wig, I really like how it looks on camera for mukbangs, but honestly, I wouldn't be able to wear this in real life. So I really wanted a replacement for this one. I would still love to wear something like this, but something that I could wear out and about. So these two wigs were from 7Q brand, Anya Style. I decided to branch out and try a new brand called Jellyfish. It looks like most of the wigs they sell on YesStyle from Jellyfish and they have like so much more styles than 7Q. So I got a few from them today. So like I said, I wanted to get a replacement of this one. So I got this one. It looks exactly like my wig right now. This is the Jellyfish, a medium full wig, straight. By the way guys, a lot of people do these kind of videos to try out like all kinds of crazy wigs. But I actually wear these. So I got really natural and functional wigs today. But if you guys want me to do a part 2 with like some more bold and daring wigs, just let me know in the comments down below. To me, I take wigs seriously. I don't know about other YouTubers, but wigs, I, I really depend on them. So. so when I got in the mail, it looks just like the picture. Uh, a little bit thinner though, I would say. So I like the color too. It looks so natural. And it's so glossy. First of all, the bangs are really long. That's kind of like weird to me because I have a long forehead. So if this is long for me, this is going to be long for you guys with normal size forehead. By the way, I want you guys to comment down below which way you guys want me to rock while I'm in Korea. Um, sometimes I, I might like something, but you guys might like think I look better in a certain wig. So it'll be good to know what you guys think. Uh, first of all, the bangs are totally different from the one in the picture. These are way thinner and I don't like that. I don't want my forehead to show that much. Right off the bat, the quality is just like 7Q's brand. It's my first jellyfish wig. I wouldn't mind wearing this one outside. That one I would not wear outside, but this one, maybe. I just don't like how the bangs are so thin. Like what? Okay, this is the wig on me. I tried my best to make it look as much like the picture, but 
I feel like this wig is thinner than the one that the model is wearing. This is the first wig. Again, this one was supposed to be like the replacement of my previous wig up there. The framing isn't as obvious like in the picture. I feel like it's more obvious in the picture. It did look pretty when they uh, pinned it up. So let's see how that looks. How does it look pinned up, guys? I'll give this wig a 6 out of 10, which is still pretty good. I got another wig from Jellyfish and it's this one. So it's a Jellyfish Meaningful Wig and wavy and it was $26.90 but again it looks kind of different from the picture it looks much more natural brown in the picture this one is definitely gray all around okay she's on first thing I noticed I love this wig quality a lot more than the previous one I love the curl pattern that is so pretty I really want this in the natural brown color now and of course, I really like Jellyfish's quality so far. Really soft, really natural. But guys, why is it so great? And it has no root shadow, shadow root or whatever it's called. I like the style, but I feel like I don't like the color. Um, maybe if it had like a shadow root. I feel like the style suits me, but this color is definitely not my favorite. I'd rather have this in a brown color because like from far away, I probably look like a grandma. I, I really wanted the color in the pictures because it looks like an ashy brown. This one looks like a grandma gray. <laughs> Maybe if, if you just cover with their hat. Let me get some hat. I recently got some new hats on Yesta. I bought them separately, but yeah, I'll link these down below too. I really love them. Maybe I can wear this out with the hat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yes. Do you guys like this? I'm not sure about the color. It's just, I don't want to look like an old lady from far away. With the hat, it's a 10 out of 10. But without a hat, I give it a 6 out of 10. It could have been a 7, but the color, the color is not exactly like the photo. Okay, so far we've tried some colors that I've already did, like in the past. And so I did get a wild card. I did get a red wig. I know I said that I was going to get functional wigs in this video. And trust me guys, this is like a really natural red. So yeah, this is her. I feel like this is a very natural red. And this curl pattern is quite different from this one. It's more curls. Well, this is one is like wave. This one's by Jellyfish and she's $25.10. Okay, again, I really like the fit of this one. The bangs are great. And I think the curls are really pretty. Let me see what happens when I brush them out. <gasps> yes. I really like the curl pattern. Like you comb it out and it still keeps its shape. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, synthetic wigs, they keep their curls even if after you wash and dry them, which is super awesome, unless you use heat on them. So the wig itself, I like, but I don't think it suits me. I don't think I match red hair. The only time I had any experience with red is like kind of like when I did pink hair and the my hairstylist mixed it with a little bit of red at the end but again this looks super natural right if you guys are into red hair or want like a red hair for cosplay this one is a great option and it's only $25 and I don't think I'm gonna wear this one much unless it's like for a costume yeah but to be honest it doesn't look quite like the pictures like this wig itself is pretty but the one I see online I really like how her bangs are curled I always wanted to try that stuff Actually, it doesn't look like a wig on her. That looks like her real hair. But anyways, I can make it look more natural by putting on a hat, I guess. Let's see. My Yes style hat. Fluffy hat. With the hat, I give it a 10 out of 10. But by itself, on me, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, guys. We are finally moving on from Jellyfish wigs. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I try to go for medium full wigs. Like, I never go for long ones just because I do mukbangs and I want to get in the way of food. Also, it's really hot. So this time, I really wanted to try long style just for fun, but maybe I might wear it. And really wanted to try Ashta wigs on Yes Style. They are more affordable and they have a few styles too, but I've always seen this style and it's only $18.30. I got it mainly because of this picture. That is like an aesthetic I would like to do it's kind of like natural chic cool girl guys when i pull it out of the box duh, she is super curly she is super perm i wore her in a instagram photo so follow me at underscore at julie if you want to see it first off i i don't think i could ever wear this out and about let alone a mukbang video because I'll just show you guys why. 
jellyfish and 7q's netting is really nice but this one kind of reminds me of halloween wigs <laughs> So <laughs> every time I wear this wig, I just I, I just can't stop laughing. Like the curl pattern is nothing like the pictures. I'm just gonna be positive and say that I could cosplay as Hag right now. I I feel like I could really rock this look now. Harry, your wizard. <laughs> I really like this part, but I don't know what's going on with the bangs. Like I don't think that's normal. I really wanted to live my chic like effortless fantasy but i couldn't this wig is nothing like the pictures so i like i feel like if someone bought it expecting it to look like that they would get really upset so yeah but guys this wig looks amazing with the hat this is my yesterday hat bucket hat oh this is so cute for like street style i don't know this wig i love the perm like i I feel like this style is so pretty, but the bangs just ruined it. Like this is so cute. It could have been so cute, you know? But I do, I, I tried it for a princess photo shoot and I felt beautiful in this wig surprisingly. And like the first couple of days when I first got this, I, I thought I was literally gonna throw it in the trash, but just because it looks good in photos and in hats, I gave it um, a good applause for that. So like on its own, I literally give this a one out of 10 but with the hat and like for photo shoots 10 out of 10 that's like really crazy right but it's the truth like this is so cute with the hat and it's so cute if you're like doing a photo shoot yeah this is my first time trying this brand wig and it's not as good as jellyfish and 7 q yeah guys i usually spend around 25 dollars to 30 dollars for a wig but because this might be my last rounds of buying wig, I think by the end of this year, I could like rock my real hair maybe. So I thought I should raise the budget to two times. Most majority of these wigs are from China, but this one is um, a really popular brand in Korea called Pink Age. And it was $53.90. And again, I'm going to Korea and huge step in my life. So I really wanted to have a wig that made me feel confident. Like tell me if you could definitely see the quality difference because I was shook. I should have bought like higher budget wigs in the first place because this is the best quality wig I own. Ah, I love this wig so much guys. I wore her a couple times already. I haven't worn her in the main video yet but I'm so happy to finally talk about her to you guys because I've always wanted a pink age wig but I thought that I wouldn't really need one but I definitely need one can you guys tell how human this hair looks those other wigs honestly are gorgeous but they do have a kind of like Halloween feel to them but this one I feel like this hair is so human like oh my gosh I can't get over her and the length is great it's not too long not too short I love her and I love the bangs too. They're not too thin. I hate thin bangs on wigs. Yeah, I really like her. She makes me feel confident. She makes me feel chic. And I could definitely wear her in many ways. And I like the little C curl at the end. This feels like a long-term wig to me. I feel like it's gonna be a classic wig that I could always return to. Like the other wigs, I feel like I could never return to again, honestly. It's so basic that I feel like I could return to it whenever I need. And that is the point of me buying these wigs. I needed something functional and something that I could wear for all parts of my life, not just like filming. And this is a suitable wig for me to bring to Korea, honestly. But if you guys like any of the other wigs on me, just let me know. I'm really curious what you guys think. I don't have a stylist or like a crew to like help me, um, find a new look so you guys are all i have so what do you guys think which wig looked good on me which wig should i stay far away from um all i know so far is that this wig is amazing and i really want to wear her in korea for sure and yeah i'll link all these wigs down below including these hats by the way this wig is a 10 out of 10 but with this hat it's also a 10 out of 10. yeah i'll link the hats the wigs even my previous wigs if you guys want to be me for Halloween. <laughs> now, someone said they were going to be me for Halloween, but I didn't see no pictures, so I'm kind of sad. Like, don't lie to me. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We are definitely entering a new era of my life, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. 
We're going to Korea soon, like I said, so I'll be there soon quarantining, but we should have some more videos come out on this channel. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I hope you guys like this look because we're gonna be with this look for like a couple, a couple of months.